Hello, my name is Dr. Alex Martin at MetroMD in Hollywood, California. In the past, we have spoken about the pediatric applications of human growth hormone. That's the use of human growth hormone in children who are below the 50th percentile in the growth curve. Today, I would like to talk to you about the applications of human growth hormone in the adult. Why would you use human growth hormone in an adult? We know that over the past 10 years, specialists in rehabilitative medicine, as well as surgeons attending wounds, have noticed more rapid healing, uh, sometimes up to 50% faster healing when HGH is accompanied the wound treatment and care. This has evoked a lot of studies and uh, interest in the applications of HGH in rehabilitative medicine. Another area in which HGH has really come to the forefront is in the treatment of tendon and muscle injuries. We know that in orthopedic uh, trauma cases, when HGH is applied, we know that the muscle and tendons heal more rapidly and more uh, firmly because there's an increase in the cell count in the muscles. It's not simply cells swelling or acting uh, more uh, strongly as you would with a steroid application. So today we know that in uh, 2017 there are even further uses and applications that are suggested by anecdotal evidence. Some of our patients have commented on the cosmetic effects of HGH. They will say, well, my hair looks so much better now, my skin is much more moist, uh, the fine lines are dissipating, and I've lost a lot of weight around my midriff. This again has evoked uh, a little interest from physicians in the past, but now in 2017 it has uh, also simulated studies in all of these areas. Lastly, I'd like to say that in the uh, realm of restoring central nervous system function, we know that HGH can cre create a rise in serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. These are important neurotransmitters which carry messages from one nerve to the next and from nerves to um, muscle tissue as well. So. When that happens, we see a, a heightened in the functioning, an increase in the, the ability of the central nervous system to carry messages. What does that translate to? It translates to uh, more rapid recall, faster memory, uh, all sorts of uh, benefits occur from that, including uh, decrease in depression. So these are interesting areas which have evoked more and more studies. Hopefully by the end of 2017, I'll have more things to tell you about. So for today, this is Dr. Alex Martin at MetroMD. Thank you.